everyone, welcome to my 33rd tutorial for beginner's guide on how to revel. In this video, it will be dedicated to keyboard shortcut keys or hotkeys that will help ease your life when using Revit. Now, shortcut keys are often overlooked by Revit users, so do take advantage of it and modify them to cater to whichever will be easy for you. Now, let's get started by pressing KS, which is the shortcut key, shortcut key. Alright, so from here, now I want to show you what I've been using for reference play. Instead of RP, I was using R. Now, what are reference plane again? It's this one. So, again, let's go back. Next is a line dimension. It's this one right here. Instead of DI, I used the number 2. What's an aligned dimension? It's the dimension between two objects that are aligned to each other. So, I use the number 2. Like so. There we go. Next. Trim. Instead of TR, I use 3 trim. What's trim? Using this wall here as an example. If I have another wall here, and if I were to trim it, it connects or extends the corner. So instead of TR, I use 3 trim. I know they're quite closer to each other, but I'm very comfortable with 3 trim. Next, the split command, which is this one right here. So what's split? Using this as an example, if I press Shift 3, it's this one. A tool that's capable of splitting an element. Again. You can see the difference, of course, but if I were to use this option here, you will see what has happened. So next is the Move key. Instead of MD, I use V, of course, which is faster, but apparently in other buttons, like B, a singular letter, you're going to have to press V and spacebar at the same time for it to work. Pressing V alone won't work. Reason for that is because the letter V is already being used by something else like this one. So if it's used by something, you're going to have to press enter, sorry, the spacebar if it's a single letter. Next is the delete command, use this one, I use E or EE, instead of reaching out for the delete key which is in the upper right corner of your keyboard, which is very far from my hands, so it is easier for me just like that. Now what else, the align command, here, instead of A, I use 1, I know A is a bit closer, but I'm pretty comfortable with using with the numeric keys. So, I press 1 here like this, and that's it. Next is the Hide tool. So what's Hide? Going back here. It's this, this one, and this one right here. So let's give it a try. I press 5 instead of HH, and again 6 to show what I've hidden. So they're very near to each other instead of HH and HR. Why? Because there's an option also RH which reveal hidden elements that I seems to get confused all the time. So instead, I use 5 and 6. Then 7 to hide, at, to permanently hide an element in a certain view. So also, if you press KS again, here you have an option to export the current um, the current shortcut key that you have to save for another computer. Also, you can import uh, a pre-configured keyboard shortcut key from either your USB or your computer. So, also, as an extra bonus, I will be providing a link for the shortcut key that I currently have in the description below. Moving on, either you change the hotkey into something that will be easy for you, but like I always say, avoid changing the current key Instead, duplicate it or add a new one by pressing here. Sorry, let's use something else like split. So instead of using this and removing it, use 
another one like ASD and assign. So since I removed it, I will be saving this configuration. If I press cancel, discard all changes. Also, getting too accustomed to your own set of hotkeys can also be disadvantageous. Why? In example, like me, I would sometimes use different computers, specifically in client meetings or presentation, and I often bring, or rather, I often forget to bring my downloaded custom keys. With that done, you'll find the full list of shortcut keys that are default that Revit has to offer in the description below as well. So, that's it for the shortcut key. Video for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.